Hey everyone, today we're going to try and replace the AGM batteries that sits in the UEB490 behind me. Um, the reason why I'm replacing them is we're putting two new lithium batteries in, 100 amp hours each. Uh, there is AGMs in the moment, uh, they are 100 amp hours also. Uh, but during the charge, they do give off some gases, which does trigger my um, my fire alarm, my smoke detector on the inside of the trailer. But also, I'm not getting enough time out of those batteries. Maybe a day, and they're flat, and they're obviously take, they're taking longer to charge as well. So I think they're on their way out. So we're just going to put lithiums in. It's been a plan of mine for a while, and we'll see how they do. I've been trying to look for videos on other people that have replaced their 490 batteries and I couldn't find any so I'm making one and hope that it helps you in replacing yours. The 490 comes with two batteries one on either side in front of the wheel well as you can see it's got ventilation holes so that's always good and there's my my carbon monoxide and smoke detector. It's right next to the batteries as they're getting charged. Um, we need to take out the mattresses. This apparently just pops open or lifts up. So we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can gain access. So we've got the panel off, we've just uh, got the right um, spanner to, to actually undo the terminals. Um, but just a quick note on Conqueror, uh, if, you, if you do own one of these, you'll know that all the electronics, the, the trailer is built well, the electronics is not. So it's quite a mess when you open up all the wiring. So that's a job for another day for us to redo the wiring of this beast. I want to put a red arc rate vision system in here at some point because the uh, battery chargers and switch panels and so on, it's not, it's not of the best quality. So um, yeah, just something to consider, but overall it's a fantastic trailer, but uh, these batteries are crap. So let's see if we can get them out. I'll show you. <clears throat> so you'll see in there is pretty neat because it only runs connections to the primary battery, which is there. So you'll see quite a mess. It's neatish, but yeah, can be better. Okay, so let's see if we can get this out. What a mission! Winner. Okay. One AGM battery. So the lithiums are a third of this in weight. Now just to get the vacuum and then uh, unpack the lithiums. So let's go check that out. Okay, so we got the AGMs out. Here they are. Oh, the 
monsters. So now, um, I bought these on Amazon. They are not uh, a well-known brand, but they were affordable, can you say that? So let's see what they look like. Is uh, post bolts interesting? Make very clear that you don't discard your post bolts. There they are. Man, it's about the same size. I was hoping it wouldn't be the same size. Oh well. He's been able to get them back in, I think. But they're not as heavy, so they're a lot more maneuverable. Okay, so let's get that into there. So I got really lucky with the size. We measured it. It's exactly the same size as the previous batteries. I thought they were going to be smaller, but guess not. These batteries have got, um, they say between 4,000 and 14,000 cycles uh, of charge. So that's quite a bit. Um, really light. I mean, compared to, <laughs> compared to the other ones, they're really. Oh, it's a tight fit. That is a really tight fit, but I guess that's what we want, right? We don't want them moving around. Um, this is lucky. This is, man, this is luck. Let me show you. That is just pure luck right there. It fits so snug. I mean, I don't know if you can see it nice with the light that I have, but that is snug, man. That is really snug. Time for us to uh, not connect them. Get the other battery. In. Let's do it. gonna do a circuit test what do we have here circuitry fuse board pretty self-explanatory battery isolator uh, so we're in the charger and everything sits behind this block as well so fuses trip switches battery isolator solar charge controller air conditioning and heating controller with only offshore power and then an AM FM radio DVD player and obviously 110 volt AC okay first test this battery isolation before we do an actual power test so let's see if the battery isolator goes up all right fantastic so it reads in the battery compartment or the batteries are 69 degrees Fahrenheit at this moment. Batteries are at 100%. That water meter does not work anymore. I bypassed it. So it's currently disabled. So it'll always just show 100%. Watch out for another YouTube video on how I fixed that problem. I'm running a Bluetooth controller now to look at the water levels in the tank. But it's a, 
it's a water flow meter so the tank sit in the bottom of this beast so we'll do a separate video on that okay so the batteries are good they're currently sitting at 13.2 volt which is pretty full uh, and currently drawing 0.5 amps okay so let's do a charger test this trailer is wired for 110 volt 30 amp AC um, so right now let me switch the circuit brake on and then the charger is all the way to the right so we're gonna then see the charger kick in 18.9 amps screen is a bit dull currently raising the battery to 13.5 volts good and current input is almost 19 amps so um yeah battery seems to be working we're working well we're just gonna leave them on just to get a full charge now that they're in so they can just uh, settle down a little bit and get a get a charge going and that's it we're just gonna close it up thanks for watching mm -hmm.